Hello everybody and welcome back to the deck guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at hand buff, an archetype which has been underperforming as of until now at least, or maybe. Um, we've got a new card or rework card that is absolutely broken. <laughs> I'm pretty certain this card is like no, I'm not even kidding. I mean, this is not even me this is not even me farming content or anything. This card really is utterly broken. I don't know how good the rest of the deck is. I do know for a fact this card is busted, but anyway, I'm not going to go on too much about it. Let's first get into the deck and then we'll, I'll explain to you why it's so broken. But anyway, lead ability, boost four units in your hand by one, and you can do this three times any time in the game you can you can do this. Typically, you're going to want to buff cards that, you know, don't buff talk in the first two charges. Again, I'll explain why at the fast here. Buff everything but talk, and then... I'll explain why. So, Sheldon Skaggs you want to buff because he will be able to damage enemy unit by the amount Sheldon is boosted. So the more boost Skaggs gets, the more value he gets. He doubles the value, so to speak. So make sure you use a leader charge on this. Uh, Aglaas is another card that can double... I'm not sure about Aglaas. Aglaas feels a bit eh to me, but she's another card that doubles the value of um, boost. Similar to Sheldon Skaggs. Honestly, she's just the worst Skaggs. I don't know why she's 10 provisions. She should honestly be... <laughs> She should honestly be eight provisions or maybe even lower. She's um, a weaker Skags, but she's also she does double the value, so it is sometimes valuable in this deck. Full of Vandral, also not one hundred percent sure about this card. I was just kind of trying them out. You could cut maybe Full of Vandral and a Glass and try fit the Zoltan. Try get like a dwarf package in this deck, maybe. Um, I was trying out like this, but feel free to try um, run the dwarf package with Monroe Bruver, uh, Monroe, not Bruver, Monroe, Zoltan, whatnot, but Philavandra also does get extra value from the hand buffs because when he gets buffed up, he can create and play a special card with the provision cost equal to Philavandra's power if you put on the melee rose, so if you do buff him up, he can create higher provision cards like Call the Forest Council and whatnot, can be nice there. Then we do play Simlas, and Simlas is going to be um, a nice card to be able to pull out the Bounce for Harvest. Now, the Bounce for Harvest are the only special cards in deck for Simlas, so you need to be a bit careful not to brick Simlas. Uh, but this basically, basically you should play all copies of a bronze card, a bronze special card, sorry, should I say, from your deck, um, which you're going to be playing on Bounce for Harvest. Now, Bounce for Harvest is going to synergize with this deck as well because it creates and play a bronze square to Ulf. And then depending on the position of the elf, you will boost the far left card in your hand, the far right card in your hand, or the or if you choose the middle card, it'll be a random card in your hand. Um, so you can kind of use this at a time when maybe talk is on the far left or the far right, or skags, or something that you want to buff up is on the far left or the far right of your hand, and you can use this to like kind of almost guarantee buffs go into something you want. Um, then we play with um, Geralt. Now you're probably wondering what the heck is this card and why do we play a Geralt? Because I don't want to play Heatwave. Why don't I want to play Heatwave? Because of Farseer, you want to have as few specials as possible in this deck. So I took out Heatwave and put Geralt in the deck, which actually was performing pretty well, even though the card itself is kind of a bit, um, you know, it has, it's been... I, I wouldn't really call it Power Crypt, because a card like this doesn't really get Power Crypt, but it's... I don't know, it just hasn't really been a, de a card that people have played for a long time. But it actually has been performing pretty well for me, and it makes much more sense in this deck than Heatwave because of Farseer. Royal Decree, play a unit from your deck. This gives you a bit of consistency, and um, there's a special card, so there's, that's the one thing I don't like about it, but otherwise, not too bad. Triss Butterfly, shuffle a card from your hand to your deck, and then draw a unit of your choice and boost it by three. Um, so it just gives you a bit of consistency. Again, more hand buff potential, which is nice. Shell and Skags, very disgusted this does, basically turns all the boost into damage, which gives you a bit of control. Talk, now this card is going to be one of the most important cards in this deck. This card starts in your hand always, and whenever this card is boosted in your hand, it'll boost another random allied unit or random unit in your hand by the same amount the Talk is boosted. Which is pretty insane! And also very insane with Farseer, and I'll explain why. Let's just get into Farseer for, for a a second boost an unboosted unit in your hand by the number of boosted units in your hand so what does this mean it means every game this is how you should open up turn one use two leader charges boost everything in your hand except for talk and farseer and then on that same turn play the farseer and boost the talk by eight which is an absolutely mind-numbingly mind-numbing amount of points you just generated because the Farseer, 5 point body, boost Talk by 8 points, and then Talk will boost something else by an additional 8 points, that's 16 points already, and if that buff lands on a Skags, or an Aglaeus, or a um, Watcher of the Valley, it's another 8 points. Insane. Completely insane. 
broken 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 um but yeah that that, that is going to be how this deck opens every game dunker uh, and if you don't have a fast in hand make sure you royal decree into a fast here because this card is just it, it, worth it um dunker damage amine by three at the end of your turn if the order has not been used um by the way it's order zeal you can damage amine by three if you don't use the order ability it'll boost a unit in your hand by one every turn which is great because that's more hand buff on things like talk more hand buff on everything else just a card that synergizes quite nice in this deck then hawker smuggler very similar to dunker except it's six provisions every turn on turn end it'll boost the random allied units in your hand by one um obviously pretty nice to be able to get those those um boosts in your hand because any boost that lands on something like talk or whatever can get double value as well fast here very discussed this card very broken mahakam defender every turn and turn end if this card is boosted boost it by one um at the end of the turn so this means you're going to want to boost this card in your hand and then you play it and it's a one point per turn engine whoop de do Elven War Dancer, if it is boosted, it will be able to damage an enemy unit by three. If it's not boosted, it'll damage a unit by one. Um, so, again, nice four deal three. Pretty much pretty consistent in this deck to be a four deal three, which is okay. Gives you a little bit of control if you need it. Um, Pella, there might be some poisons or some locks around. So, having a one off Pella is kind of okay ish. Um, just be able to purify units. And then Watcher of the Valley will be able to give an enemy unit bleeding equal to how much this card has been boosted. So if this card is five boost, five bleeding. If it's six boost, six bleeding. Um, obviously this card will get boost because it'll be in your hand. Um, and then if you have bonded, so if you played one of them, bef if there's one of them on the board already, the next one will be able to do damage instead of bleeding, which makes it basically a skags. If you have bonded, this card turns into a skags, which is again very powerful in this deck hawker support another very strong cast deck a boost an allied unit in your hand by one if that unit was already boosted boost it by three instead so you're going to use this basically on talk and talk will pretty much always have been boosted at least once um and this will basically be able to boost talk by three and then we'll be able to talk will boost something else by three so pretty nutty amount of points that this card can generate as well not quite as crazy as fast here but <laughs> a lot of points regardless so anyway that is the deck let's get into some gameplay now and see how the deck performs in action and now you're gonna pray your opponent draws seven or plays a seven point card on the board and even then your shoe plays for 10 points that's not even that good that's actually not good at all Okay, well, the problem with this matchup, there might be a sensor, and, you know, a <laughs> sensor's gonna kill this deck. Trust Meteor? Why? This deck doesn't have high base power. Trust Meteor is mostly good in decks where you can get the ranger ability, which this deck is not one of those decks. The uh, problem with this matchup is there's going to be a sensor, and I don't think this deck can beat sensor. Balanced. Poggers. Time for you to die, Dwan. Special prize just for you, love. Watch and learn, Dwan. Offers more points than Full of Andrew. Mm, does it? 
The melee arrow ability is not very good. Well, sometimes it can be good, but it's inconsistent as hell. The range ability is what the card is all about, and this is not a deck that has good value from the range ability. What's at nine? Shaping nature, right? Is the watcher. Hmm. This is bad. I want to play this last. And then in this walk, well, because of sense, I need to play this last. I don't think I want this. In this matchup, Vanilla Geralt. Unlikely to get value. Sure. Blood, blood. So I'm looking for Simlas. Um, and I am looking for Triss to find Simlas Decree. No. What are these draws? Yeah, at least I get the Simlas, but. I could also decree into Triss if I don't want any of these cards. Death would be a mercy you do not deserve. So we buff everything but Skags here. Yeah. I should have buffed Talk. Ah, but then Talk could maybe RNG buff the Skags that would screw me over. So maybe it's fine like this. Not afraid. You should. <laughs> this card is insane, man. This card is so insane. It's nutty. Actually nutty. It's so insane. Is it worth going for Triss Butterfly? And then shuffling back, I don't know, the Mackham Defender maybe? Because to be fair, the Defender's not going to do much here.
<laughs> His sense is bricked. <laughs> Imagine bricking sense in this matchup. Uh, this is actually kind of bad. I should have played this first, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Nice sensor, dude! Lul. Oh, what? Kick wait. Kick wait. Ah, uh, my God, man. I don't need two far seers, one is enough. No, fuck. Great. Yet another horn for my collection. A lot of points. Are you cold, human insect? It won't be long. Shut up, shut up, human. Are we going to buff this now five hundred times? So what's it to Geralt in this matchup? Eridan? This Ithlin, I'm not sure about this card. That's a nice buff. That's also a nice buff. So what does this create? Seven salve, right? I don't want to create that. I would prefer not to create that. Worst case scenario, break I can um, use trust to fix it. That's fine. Yeah, I guess I decree trust then. So I decree trust and put, I guess, um, some loss in hand. Then we just play the fast scene and buff this. 11 point fall actually more than 11 points because it makes this get pretty good value shit i can't actually kill eridan Eight, three. i kind of want to roast deck actually not afraid you should be
So... I guess that would be my Geralt. A nice Geralt. Hi. <laughs> law friendly. <laughs> Is that law friendly? I don't remember that happening. At your age, at two centuries, you behave like you were barely one. Yeah, I can't do this kind of. We are the eyes of Dolphin. The Skag's not gonna kill Eridan. Alright, Geralt over Igni. Because this was one more point. Smile. this world as we have conquered countless others. Ah, yeah, I should have finished my fight. Might have to use my last eater charge soon. Then again, do I need to? Eh, whatever. <laughs> I'm watching. Imagine watching. What is it? Eight? Ah, uh, it's um. Wait, what's it? Eight? Council? Screw it, whatever. Okay, so I have a big talk, a very big talk. And I got an even big, well, not even bigger war dance, but I got a pretty big war dancer too. So that's pretty poggies. And then some random garbage in hand. Ooh. Got business for me. This will get m probably moved. Oberon into a. Gale into uh, Oberon. Mahakam! Maybe I should have played this first, just so that I could not have this lose value to Frost. What's last card? Azrael? That whole combo of Farsia talk, everything is kind of carrying the whole deck. It's a pretty insane amount of points. And I'm pretty certain this is very broken. Whether or not the deck as a whole is broken, I'm not entirely sure. But I can definitely assure you this card is be This combo is very, very, very broken.
just subscribed. Sippin was meant to do that actually, K-E-K-W. Was meant to do that? Do what? <laughs> Thanks so much, fellow. Welcome back for three months. Appreciate it. Also, I'm not sure if you have a card quote. I don't think you do, but if you do want one, let me know. I mean, we'll have to add a quote for you. Um, so I guess we play this one. And then we buff up the talk. Oh, we got the 30 point fast here. Nice. Oh, 30 points, chat. Let's go. <laughs> well, 29 to be exact, but you know what I mean. Can I have the Resident Evil baby voice? <laughs> uh, if only that was a card. Well, but wait, what? what chat, are there, any, are there any like baby quotes in Gwent? Are there any card quotes that are like... You know. Um, <laughs> what am I playing here? I guess I'm playing this. Botchling? Self eater? Nah, it's not a baby. <laughs> I guess I play this. And then. So, I want to keep playing, but I'm very worried about a pass. Like, I really want to keep playing. Fuck it, I'm going to keep playing. Okay, I kind of got a pass now. Give buffs here, re. Circle of Life not good in this deck? No, Circle of Life is good in this deck, but I want Farseer value. Every special I put in this deck makes Farseer potentially worse, so... I am going to keep the deck clear of specials if I can. Or at least as clear of specials as I can. Um... Don't have Skags or Alsimlas. Nor do I have Decree or Triss. We'll pay men back for the persecution. Wait, no, so we do this. Buff this, this. I'm worried about buffing talk because what if it RNGs and pings that? Nah, that never happens, smile. Never happens, never happens, never happens. Dude, these Farseers are so broken. They're so broken! Holy shit, this bronze is insane! When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. <clears throat> <laughs> Why do you have so much buff on you? What do you It's overshooting the damage so much. I'm watching. Yeah, it sounds kind of stalkery, but okay. That's a nice Bruva you got there. Would be a real shame. Would be a real shame, dude. An absolute shame if I could just nuke it. <laughs> Lul. And you're on with a tier one reset for 12 months. Thanks for sure. Appreciate it. Welcome back for a whole year. Um, so what do I do with this? I guess I can play this first. Too fast for you, Dwan. Too fast for you, Dwan. Show me what flows in your Any Dwans in the chat? This is what playing a rebuke. 
I guess I could get a Soko, which would be kind of nice. Card action we guarantee it goes on this one, please. That's twenty two points. Is he gonna force everything out of me? Where's my Geralt, dude? So we still have some last. <clears throat> um, we still have some cards. Need to draw them. And he's kind of played everything here. No, no, no. Hello. Uh, video game. Hello? Gold? Hello? Ay, ay, ay. It's the win. Poggers. Oh, God. So, Triss is going to be in this deck. Triss is going to be quite awkward. Well, not my Triss, his Triss. Do I mulligan my decree just to make Farsia better? Yes! Maximum Farsia value! Yes! Cut Decree and some of us? Nah, I mean, cutting Decree maybe, but some of us is pretty good in this deck. Again, the 30 point fast here, Pog. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Not broken whatsoever. Is that a Geralt? Eh, I'll just Geralt the piggy later. Ah. By Gold Necker, I hope so. But thanks so much, um, Ovigante. Oh, really appreciate it. Welcome back for six months. Three. Our work is in that's not. That's not nice. Huh. So without any engines, I don't really think I want to contest this round. I might just actually just drop this and pass. Too fast for you, Dwan. Sure. Didn't split. I mean, I can play the Geralt, but it's not really going to achieve anything. Without any engines, I'm not. I don't have any incentive to play into this round. So I think I'm rather going to just pass. Honestly, it would be you know be a very nice top deck here. A Glares and the second Farseer would actually be quite nice. Would be pretty good. 
Got a second fast here. That's not bad. Honestly, this is pretty good then. Obviously, a glass would be a little bit better, but yeah, it's pretty good. So, what are we going to buff up then? We put the buffs on everything but the smuggler and then play Farsi on the smuggler, I suppose. I can't. I, I need to stop doing this buffing talk thing. It's, it's, it's going to backfire at some point. Like, I can't risk like a 1 in 10 to like lose the game every game. So, I'm just going to do this. Um, and then I'm going to buff this, and this, and this. Because otherwise, I'm going to potentially screw myself over. I foresee victory this card is nuts. This card is so nuts, chat. It's so broken. How is this card in the game? It's so broken. It is utterly broken. What the fuck is that? I'm going to Geralt that. Got business for me. It's so broken. Like, the first one... The first one played for like 29 points. I know there's... Whatever, the, you do the math however you want. And the second one played for another like 13 points. Wait, what am I, why would I do that? I just damage this one. We are the eyes of Um, actually, I could just do this. And then use this on the other one. On the, well, other one, but on the Shihu Lamaus. Bye-bye. Lul. This deck is getting hard carried by these Farseers. It's a, such a stupid amount of points. It's actually unreal. But we're going to decree into this and then I'm going to use Trist to shuffle this and draw it again. Um, actually, do I want to play this first? I think I want to play this first for Lavandrel. And go call on to Ithlin. Yeah. Get this better than hand buff? Maybe! I don't, I don't really know how good this deck is, but I do know one thing is for sure. This card is so broken. 
Whether or not this deck is good or bad, this deck can be tier 4. It doesn't change my mind. This card is broken beyond belief. You guys want to farm draws. Wait, actual. <laughs> Wait, why am I singing? Go away with your Aaron diet. I saw enough of the shit last season. Weird. Imagine playing Aaron dites. Go away. Hoggers, 12 points. A glaze. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a glaze. Anyway, that is that guy. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below how you're liking the patch and what are you playing right now? What are the decks that everyone is most interested in? Um, because, yeah, obviously, this new patch actually introduced a lot of. Uh, a big shift in the meta because with Aaron Diet and Golden Necker now kind of a little bit more out of meta or at least far less prevalent, um, it definitely opens up a lot more deck building and a lot more decks to be able to emerge into the current meta. So let me know what you guys are playing. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again next time. Take care everyone and bye bye.